Hey everyone, my name is Emma, a growth marketer here at Hunch. And today the Hunch Voice picks up about ad localization on paid social, and I'll show you how to actually create and deliver hundreds of local ads in less than five minutes using Hunch. For those of you who don't know us, Hunch is a meta business partner for technology, and we're heavily involved in the space of creative enhancement and computer automation of basically everything you do on paid social. The most common challenges every businesses with multi-regional online stores or multiple retail locations face are how to produce the required number of assets and how to actually get those ads into a campaign and later to make changes. It would take hours to manually make the set changes and then a day or two to launch them. On Facebook, there are actually two parts to localization. The first one is choosing the locations you want to target and the second is contextualizing creators for each location. Sounds like a handful, but it's fairly simple. And by the end of this video, you'll know how to manage that in under five minutes. So let me show you how to easily create and deliver hundreds of local ads in less than a few minutes while using Hunch. So when launching a campaign the traditional way, you have to set up targeting for each location. This means to create as many ad sets as there are locations, all manually. But when using Hunch, you can do this in mere minutes. To launch a location-based campaign, we prepare a sheet, which is actually a list of locations. This list provides us with campaign and creative information. For the campaign, we'll use locations for targeting and for the creative, different creative copy for each location in order to have multiple versions of your creative and actually dynamic landing pages depending on each location. And now we put that data into use. This is where the Hunch platform comes in. To connect your data to Hunch, first you have to create a catalog. The catalog pulls in and syncs the data from the sheet, which acts as a dynamic feed. The catalog means that your data stays dynamic. So if you change something in your feed, it's gonna reflect on your catalog in Hunch. That's your campaign on Facebook. And now how do we actually build a creative? With the Hunch Creative Studio, of course. The studio lets you combine design elements with dynamic data. This specific creative has a static background, so it stays the same for all creatives. But on top of it, it uses a dynamic layer. The dynamic layer is coming in from the feed. And as you can see, there are multiple versions of this copy in the layer, depending on the location. This means that we've created one template, which will output hundreds of creative versions. And now we've come to the campaign part. So how does the creative process help us? So we're creating one ad set on which account will create hundreds more variants. This means that we set up basic information, but use dynamic targeting. And by selecting use feed values, we tell the system to read the catalog and use the feed data to create an ad set for each location. On the ad, ad, set, ad level, it stays the same. And when we're done, you can hit send to Facebook. And at this moment, the platform will sell all the data and its creatives to Facebook. And when the campaign is ready, you can see its structure. And then we go into ad sets. There are hundreds of them, all created from our location sheet. And the same goes for ads. This helps us in reducing the launch time from days to mere hours. So imagine how much time we would need to launch hundreds of campaigns on ads. So you can see that we actually did this in less than five minutes. And in practice, a mini case study we did a while back with one of our clients shows what you can expect when cleverly using geographically contextualization in your campaigns. Genero, a global creative platform for marketers, are running more than a thousand Facebook ads for one of their clients using Hunch. Automated campaign and ad delivery helped in reducing the workload and time needed for content creation and launching. And looking at it from the cost side, the CPLs from their lead campaign dropped by 82%, while the CACs dropped by 62 in their purchase campaign. And why are we doing all of this? On the previous example we did through the Hunch platform, it's obvious. We're launching a campaign which says that you can order from any city. So it's important to show every city in case you're wondering if they deliver it to your address. And now you're sure that they actually do. Geographical contextualization helps use helps users understand how the product gets to them and are there any challenges or why should it be relevant to them, being as simple as ordering food from a restaurant which delivers to your city area, or it could be something as big as chain or stores or channel delivering through different cities. Thanks for staying with me. Hope this was valuable. And then I understand that you don't actually need magic to make creative for your localized campaigns, but just a hunch in the right direction with the right tool. If you feel localization is the right move for your brand, hop on a free consultation. 
or if you're more in the mood for exploring, our article below will definitely come in handy. And make sure to subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more content. Also, follow us on LinkedIn and subscribe to our weekly newsletter for more new content every week. Thanks for staying with me and see you next time. Bye.